here we go. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yes, drip everywhere. Mm. 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 That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click bait. What's up y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha and we back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs the video up if you like it, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are new here, thank you for joining the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby, tell them what we're doing. Today, you guys, we are doing a king crab seafood boil. We got a few different items here, but what we really going to be focusing on today, you guys, are these two delicious sauces. We got Flavors by Dame Dash, and his sauce is called Dippin' Dash Butter Sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we got Be Love Smackalicious, y'all. Yes. We gonna be seeing which one we like best. Yes. Right. So this is Dame Dash versus Be Love Sauce. Yes. Basically. So let's get it. I'm ready. Let's I don't see. even care if you register. Okay. Wow. Then let's get into the video. All right, guys. So let me tell you what we have. We got King Crab, Snow Crab, Dungeness Crab. We got some Colossal Prawns, Giant Shrimp, Rice. Sausage, boiled eggs, and cucumbers, y'all. Yeah. We about to tear this up. I'm, I think we both are really hungry. We are starving. And I'm looking forward to both of these sauces. So yeah. let's get it in. Right, so what, what sauce you want to try first, babe? Uh, we can do B loves. B love first. We can do B loves. First. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what I'm, I'm gonna go in with a. I'm gonna go in with this, y'all. I'm gonna go in with rice. Is a giant prawn. Going right in. So we're doing B Love first? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do B Love first. Ooh, smack delicious, y'all. I need an onion on there. Mm. Mm. And we're gonna hold that, like. Mm. <laughs> Pepper gun. Y'all already know I love B Love so. All right. It's spicy. Let me do it for real, y'all. That was just the skin suck. All right, here we go with this, y'all. I tried to get as much chunks as I could, sorry. <laughs> mm. 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 It's good. Mm-hmm. You make it look real good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Oh. You make it look boom. Alright. Mm. Give me a little shrunk. Let me do a little bit of let me do some B love okay. with some stuff on it too you oh stuff. all right you don't even like i don't want either. that ginger oh yeah i like it yes all right bon. dame dash mm -hmm. let's go i'm going right in i ain't waiting for tasha y'all all right so this is the Dippin' dash. dash butter sauce. Mm. Mm. I ain't saying nothing yet, but I'm sure y'all can tell by my facial expressions how I feel about both these sauces. Mm. Let me get that. Mm. Mm -mm, you playing with me. Dang. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yes, drip everywhere. Mm. You make me a rice mm. volcano. Look, mom. It's about to be. Bom, bom. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. Hey. Oh man, nah. You're gonna have to figure it out, spoon. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh god, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. Give us a minute, y'all. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get into talking about what we feel about these two sauces, but let us enjoy them first. Let me try sausage with Dame Dad. Mm. Mm -hmm. I need some um, rice. So y'all, before we get into <clears throat> giving our opinions, you know you gotta do disclaimers because people be on here doing too much. Number one, we've had a lot of people ask us since we did uh, tried the Be Love. This is her, the sauce from the new mix that she has on sale at Amazon. We we've done. A review on it and we had a lot of people ask us which one did we like more dang dash or uh the be love sauce so we decided to do this video can i say what the other person said go ahead oh we've got a lot of we <laughs> also said say. somebody say we was throwing shade at dane right. because i think stephanie mentioned that you like the fact that it was fresh um spices or I, whatever. in general i don't like canned stuff like when i go right. to the grocery store i like to buy fresh produce and stuff i don't right. really buy the canned like different vegetables and things mm -hmm. you know yeah that's just my preference y'all when i made that comment wasn't thinking about anybody else's sauce on youtube in particular at all mm -hmm. okay but yeah. of course i want somebody to had to find a way to be negative but go ahead mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's it i just want to say that we don't throw shade you guys we will throw the whole sun or the whole whatever. If we feel like it's something, I don't feel like I don't I'm not gonna um sugarcoat anything. But I also wouldn't say if I felt some kind of way, I wouldn't say I wouldn't even say it. If I felt like, oh, he shouldn't be putting his stuff in a jar, I wouldn't say, hey, he that's not my business. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do. But I would take his stuff out of a jar. I like the sauce. I don't need to take it out of a jar though, because I can make it. Exactly. Right here. But anyway, yeah. Mm. That's it. We love both of them. We've collabed with both B-Love and Dame. We love them both. How we like their sauce or don't like their sauce or whatever, it doesn't matter. Exactly. That don't mean nothing. Great point. And I have a point to add to what you just said. I love my wife, y'all. Forever. I will love her. I don't be eating her sauce like that. Why? Because mm -hmm. I don't prefer it like that. Mm -hmm. She likes the sauce, okay? I usually have a whole different sauce than she has. Mm hmm because I like different, I like different sauces. She almost always, it may only been once or twice. I she rarely eat had, your sauce. Yeah, she don't care for it. This is my wife. Okay, I ain't trying to throw shade on her, but not eating her sauce. No, I just want something else. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm sure there are a lot of people that has tried Rock Tasha's recipe and loved it. There's some that tried it and ain't liked it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I don't care. All I care about is the fact that I like it. It's fine, you know. You know, we're not gonna all like the same things. People be there's kidding. some things that Stephanie cooks that I do not like, and I'll never exactly. eat. Exactly. And there's some things that I cook uh -huh. that she doesn't like. There's not a lot of shit bad. that we we cook that we that that's true. Like. That's true. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Calm down. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Find something else to do with your life than trying to spread spread negativity and like divide us on here, cause we ain't gonna be divided anyway. No matter mm -hmm. what y'all be saying. We're not gonna divide this community, okay? We too strong. Little poo poo. Boop. <laughs> I wanna address somebody else. And let me say something. When we address, y'all already know, the OGVs know. When we address people, it's not that we're bothered by the insult. <clears throat> it's not that we have low self esteem <laughs> or that we're gonna think about this. But a lot of times, I just like to clap back, to be honest. I just sometimes, like, oh, she says something, I'm going to say something, too. I'm petty. It is what it is. But also, <laughs> sometimes, it's that I want to educate you, right. um, whether you believe it or not. It's like, I didn't let you know that that's not how you roll in life. You know, that's not how you're going to prosper or make friends or, or anything. So one person said today, and I've been laying off on the comments as far as saying stuff. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Today I got irritated because somebody said it was a Stephanie Solo yesterday, I think. Or whatever day this comes out, whatever. It was Stephanie Solo. And the girl said, oh, she's pretty, but she got a, but her, but her forehead is big as fuck. Something like that. I'm sure that she's one of the type of girls that when all her and her friends are hanging out, she sees somebody who's overweight or she sees somebody whose hair is messed up or whose track is showing it. Oh, look at her track. She cute, but no, I feel like that's jealousy, straight up. You look at somebody, you think the girl's pretty. Oh, she cute, but why you gotta say but? And then she was like, oh, you just mad because 
I have more of a social life than you? I'll say, yeah, you're right. And just start <laughs> laughing. Girl, I don't have time. Sure. I doubt it because people, even ignorant people, sometimes ignorant people don't even like ignorant people. They would rather be around people who aren't. Exactly. Yeah, that's all. I'm, I'm a, people are like I'm going to leave that one alone. But that was all I had to say is you, you talking about my wife. You say she's pretty, but damn, that's the sorry and sad thing about women. Mm -hmm. I don't see men going, oh, that dude handsome, but he, he ain't shit. Come on, get over yourself. Mm -hmm. You're sad. We need to stop, y'all. Whoever you are, you a sad, sad, poor, pitiful creature. We really got to stop. That's one of my missions in life, y'all, to bring women together so we can support each other more, empower each other, and stop, stop being in competition. There's too much competition. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I remember I was driving to the mall one day and sitting in the car at a red light. A group, a car full of girls were sitting sit next to me or whatever. Um, huh? So I'll give you that because I think you Thank like you. the smaller ones. Yeah. A car full of girls were sitting next to me. I didn't notice until they said something. And one of them, the loudest, ghettoest one, was like, Damn, she pretty, but Tyra Banks, but she ain't got nothing on Tyra Banks. Some basically said I had a big forehead. Her forehead big as fuck. You know, she just started talking. And her, I don't know if her friends were laughing or not. I'm not really sure. But I looked and I said, that's what's wrong with black women today. Because it was a car full of black girls. I've never had, um, that was actually the only time I've ever, well, the second time I had somebody just, oh, she got a big forehead besides on, on here. But what was your purpose of saying somebody's pretty and then you just like you building somebody up and then you tearing them down you can't just compliment somebody mm -hmm. you can't just look at somebody and be like, oh she's cute mm -hmm. you have to say something random and ratchet so i was just like wow i was like i can't remember exactly what i said but i was like that's what was sad about black women we sit up all we can do is sit here and tear each other down i don't remember what i said i said something like that oh mm -hmm. she she decided she wanted to have attitude get out the car she was like four foot eleven i was like okay I'm not about to be ratchet and ghetto. I said, meet me at the mall, which I shouldn't have, but I did. I said, meet me at the mall. It's right here, right around the corner. They met me at the mall. She got out the car. I got out the car and I'm like, what? I think she thought her friends were going to get out the car with her because it was like four or five girls. Nobody got out the car. They was like, she's stupid. I guess what she did? Nothing. Mm -hmm. My point is, it's just sad how females, and I feel like if she would have saw me, like the way I was dressed, she wouldn't have said that. Probably not. She wouldn't have said that. She thought I was a girly girl and whatever. But I mean, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna say that to no guy. You ain't gonna walk to no guy and be like, oh, he cute, but he got a big no. If she would have saw me, like, she probably wouldn't have said anything. And that's nothing we were talking about that. These people know damn well if we were in person, they would never approach us and say any of this shit. The people on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. I mean, she did, but. Who? The oh. girl in the car did, but. No, but see, that was a different situation because I feel like that was like the gang mentality. If oh, any yeah. one of them people were in the car by themselves, they would have never said that to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was because they was all together. Oh, you want to play and laugh and joke, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, at someone else's expense with your mm -hmm. friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. But ain't nobody walking up to you by themselves saying no shit like that. Right. Yeah, people. Y'all need to be careful because. Okay. Some some people are crazy. Like me, I used to be. I used to be one that would get out the car and walk up to your car, but I wouldn't do anything. But it depends on the day. You never know. Somebody can be so angry. Or get tired of, be tired of it, and just have something in their car and happen to say, you know what? I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do something to her today. Right. This, yep. the, this, my, this is the last straw. I'm gonna do something to this person. You can't be like that. Mm -hmm. You can't be like that. And what for anyway? Exactly. Why not spread something that's gonna make somebody smile mm -hmm. and feel good about themselves, as opposed to spreading something that's <coughs> gonna make somebody feel bad? <coughs> you a sick person if you out here doing it. Yeah. You're on YouTube every day looking for the negative stuff to say about people. A lot of people That's do not right. A lot of people do. You ain't living right. And you're not going to really be happy until you stop doing that. <coughs> yeah, I don't. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a <coughs> cough fest. But I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why people do it. I don't know if every community does that to each other, but mm. shit. I don't know. I don't know. Either. I don't know. From what I've seen, doesn't seem like it's done as much at I all. I don't think so either. But I don't know. I don't think so either. But I don't know either because I'm, you know, I'm not in every community. But right. 
But on another note, thank you to everybody who gives us love. Which is 90 encouragement nine every single day. Percent. Yeah. 99%. 99% mm -hmm. of y'all are bomb. Ooh. Juice. Just juice. I feel like I want some dungeon this. Right. So, here, here you go. I don't want that hard one that's oh. hard to open. Oh. So I should mean. All right, so. Here you go, baby. We, I guess we should start talking about 18. what we like. Oh, which yeah. one we like better. All right, y'all. So. Da, 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 da. Me? So, I would have to go with. Let's see. Let me, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Need something to try it with. I don't have nothing to try it with. I'll try it with a sausage. Let's try. B loves. Ooh, that is good. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. I'll try that. And dang. I have my answer, y'all. Mm. What is it? Mm. My answer is. I honestly don't know which one I like better. I love both of these sauces, y'all. They are so bomb. Like, <sighs> Dane's sauce is a lot sweeter to me. Even though a lot of people say B Loves is a sweet, just sweet sauce too. His is a lot sweeter. And I don't always like sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm very finicky when it comes to me eating sweet that this particular day. So if I am in the mood for something, but sometimes I have a strong sweet tooth too. If I have a strong sweet tooth, I'm definitely making Dame Dad's sauce that day. I can say that. But other than that, I'm not sure. I, I would have to see what I'm in the mood for that day. I really like both sauces a lot. And I'm not lying. Your turn. Okay. I... Mm, this is so good. This Dungeness. Mmm. Mm. I prefer Dame sauce. I... I do like ginger and oregano, but I don't like, I'm not, I'm gonna say I don't like it, but I'm not really into ginger too much in the seafood, for my seafood, for whatever reason. I don't really like, I like it for my Asian type stuff. And then oregano, I don't really care for oregano at all in mm. the sauce. Um, Dames is sweet. I love sweet. Like I put a lot of brown sugar in my, well, I put two tablespoons of brown sugar in my stuff. I love sweet. I love the chai chili, red chili sauce, whatever it's called. Um, I don't know. One of my favorite things about Dane sauce that I haven't tasted in anybody's sauce that I have tried is that strong pepper. Oh. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love peppery food. Yeah. Like, and I'm not talking about spice, y'all. It's the difference between pepper, like black pepper flavor, and hot sauce or, you know, something, yeah. or even cayenne. Mm -hmm. His has a lot of black pepper. It I does. love food that has a lot of black pepper in it. That's one of my favorite things about his sauce. And with B Love, I love the pickled ginger. Mm -hmm. I love that so much. Like, I can sit there and <laughs> just dig out the pickled ginger right now and eat y'all. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. These are a close one for me. If you guys have tried both sauces, let us know what you guys think. What is your favorite sauce? They're both good. Mm -hmm. I just prefer this one. Whew. I'm full. This was so bomb. All right, y'all. Hope you guys <coughs> like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys do. If you guys want to know more about us, please check out our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you set your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, only good vibes.